Chapter 15 The Lord told Moses to give these instructions to the people of Israel. When you finally settle in the land I am going to give you, and you want to please the Lord with a burnt offering or any other offering given by fire, the sacrifice must be an animal from your flocks of sheep and goats or from your herds of cattle. When it is an ordinary burnt offering, a sacrifice to fulfill a vow, a free will offering, or a special sacrifice at any of the annual festivals, whoever brings it must also give to the Lord a grain offering of two quarts of choice flour mixed with one quart of olive oil. For each lamb offered as a whole burnt offering, you must also present one quart of wine for a drink offering. If the sacrifice is a ram, give three quarts of choice flour mixed with two and a half pints of olive oil, and give two and a half pints of wine for a drink offering. This sacrifice will be very pleasing to the Lord. When you present a young bull as a burnt offering or a sacrifice in fulfillment of a special vow, or as a peace offering to the Lord, then the grain offering accompanying it must include five quarts of choice flour mixed with two quarts of olive oil, plus two quarts of wine for the drink offering. This will be an offering made by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. These are the instructions for what is to accompany each sacrificial bull, ram, lamb, or young goat. Each of you must do this with each offering you present. If you native Israelites want to present an offering by fire that is pleasing to the Lord, you must follow all these instructions. And if any foreigners living among you want to present an offering by fire, pleasing to the Lord, they must follow the same procedures. Native Israelites and foreigners are the same before the Lord and are subject to the same laws. This is a permanent law for you. The same instructions and regulations will apply both to you and to the foreigners living among you. The Lord also said to Moses at this time, Give the people of Israel the following instructions. When you arrive in the land where I am taking you, you will eat from the crops that grow there. But you must set some aside as a gift to the Lord. Present a cake from the first of the flour you grind and set it aside as a gift, as you do with the first grain from the threshing floor. Throughout the generations to come, you are to present this offering to the Lord each year from the first of your ground flour. But suppose some of you unintentionally fail to carry out all these commands that the Lord has given you through Moses. And suppose some of your descendants in the future fail to do everything the Lord has commanded through Moses. If the mistake was done unintentionally, and the community was unaware of it, the whole community must present a young bull for a burnt offering. It will be pleasing to the Lord, and it must be offered along with the prescribed grain offering and drink offering, and with one male goat for a sin offering. With it the priest will make atonement for the whole community of Israel, and they will be forgiven. For it was an unintentional sin, and they have corrected it with their offering given to the Lord by fire and by their sin offering. The whole community of Israel will be forgiven, including the foreigners living among you, for the entire population was involved in the sin. If the unintentional sin is committed by an individual, the guilty person must bring a one-year-old female goat for a sin offering. The priest will make atonement for the guilty person before the Lord, and that person will be forgiven. This same law applies both to native Israelites and the foreigners living among you. But those who brazenly violate the Lord's will, whether native Israelites or foreigners, blaspheme the Lord, and they must be cut off from the community. Since they have treated the Lord's word with contempt and deliberately disobeyed his commands, they must be completely cut off and suffer the consequences of their guilt. One day while the people of Israel were in the wilderness, they caught a man gathering wood on the Sabbath day. He was apprehended and taken before Moses, Aaron, and the rest of the community. They held him in custody because they did not know what to do with him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must be put to death. The whole community must stone him outside the camp. So the whole community took the man outside the camp and stoned him to death, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, Throughout the generations to come you must make tassels for the hems of your clothing and attach the tassels at each corner with a blue cord. The tassels will remind you of the commands of the Lord and that you are to obey his commands instead of following your own desires and going your own ways as you are prone to do. 
The tassels will help you remember that you must obey all my commands and be holy to your God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that I might be your God. I am the Lord your God.